Hi right, guys, my name is Dan, and this is this video is about using the MIDI gate. And I decided to make this video about the MIDI gate because, quite frankly, I couldn't find one on YouTube that talked about how to use it. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video about it. So, in uh, it's a MIDI gate is typically used as an insert, and I uh, wanted to try to figure out how to get reverb to get, or I wanted to, have to figure out how to get to choke my reverb whenever I had notes in quick succession that were relatively close in harmonics so that there wouldn't be this dissonance when a, the, the next note hit. Uh, for example, so. I have, so I figured that's so I've been, so the reverb is being choked, but I have the reverb going out a separate bus, uh, which is an effects bus from the Haleon plugin here. And my last video, I kind of went over all this. What I wanted to do was <clears throat> to be able to hear it and be able to just hear the wet mix and because the only thing that uh, this gives you the ability to do is to cut the wet and bypass it and just hear the dry. So one of the opposite effect, right? But so I got so I found the mini gate and I was all excited and happy and stuff, and I couldn't get it to work. And so naturally I went to the owner's manual and I started reading, and it said to just connect it to open up the pop-up menu for the output menu. Uh, for the MIDI track I was going to use. And what it doesn't tell you, because I read through the whole thing, what it doesn't tell you that I had to find out through a forum is that you can't use an instrument track to route MIDI to this insert. You have to actually do a MIDI track and then from there route the MIDI to the gate. And how you do that, um, obviously, if it's pretty self-explanatory if you know how to use the program, but if you don't, it's you add, right-click below all your tracks and click to add a MIDI track, right? So once you do that, make sure your left pane is open your, so your inspector is showing. Go down to the MIDI gate track you made, and you'll see where it says all MIDI inputs, and then below it, that's basically MIDI sending. And you uh, just click in the black black rectangle, brings you up a list of potential places you can send your MIDI. And once you have already put the MIDI gate insert in one of your buses, it will show up as an option. And you click that and life should be good. So that's how you get that to work. The other thing that I probably should mention is that this MIDI gate functions only one way. Um, what I mean to say is, it it when there's when it receives no MIDI signal, it's choked any audio signal trying to go through it, so the gate's closed. So once it receives the MIDI signal, it opens and lets that audio signal through. And I went over all these controls with the fine tooth comb and I cannot you get it to work the opposite way. Uh, which is to say that I want audio going through all the time and only when there's a MIDI note I want it to choke. But, but since it works only the one way you just work with it that way. Um, at the bottom here where it says note on and note off uh, it's a hold mode. Basically Note on is where that's where it starts the attack, hold, and release, regardless of how long the MIDI note's being held or how long it is through time. It will, it will, as soon as it receives a MIDI signature, it starts the attack and then hold for however long you set, and then it'll release. And even if the MIDI note keeps going, right? So, but 
you have the no off selection selected, it will keep the gate open for as long as the MIDI note is present, which is how I have it. And so, and you, and then what I found was the simplest way to use it was to create just some MIDI patterns. And these MIDI patterns are really, I mean, it doesn't even matter what, what note, it just has to exist. It doesn't matter the velocity or anything. So, um, what I did was I just made a four bar MIDI note and then had the, got the pattern, MIDI pattern up here in my project window. And then all you do at that point is if you hover over this, well, if you're new to this anyway, hover over the pattern clip or the MIDI clip and you'll see the two dark squares at the right. The top one is you click that and you're going to loop. Or if you simply just wanted to extend the MIDI clip, you go to the bottom and you see how your arrow turns into two uh, horizontal arrows. And that just does that, gives you more room in the clip to work with if you needed that, wanted, wanted that for some reason. So that's how that deal works there. And then if, if you needed, and what I found was useful if you just needed a way to um, time your uh, reference, your timing between your um, instrument track MIDI clip and your m insert um, MIDI clip. It was pretty useful to just, what was cool is you can just so, uh, select the clip you want, right? And uh, sh sh by the way, shift and mouse wheel goes right and left. And then control mouse wheels zooms in and out. Uh, what you could do is you s where my notes are close together, put my cursor there. My cursor shows up. Of course, if I had the right MIDI track selected, it would be better. Um, it shows you right where you would want to, because if you have big, long MIDI, because you want, you want your gate to be open so that you're, you don't have to deal with empty space and stuff like that. And then right where you know that you need the gate to shut, you can split your MIDI and... Uh, and then adjust it and it looks like I and this is this is the one of the ones I haven't adjusted yet and usually you just You could just move it over um, Depending on how long your reverb is, but Yeah, uh, you know, you don't want it to be too long because then some of your notes won't have any reverb left over and It'll sound weird or you know because it'll come back too late or whatever So um, um, and man, I sh sure can't figure out why th this program is crackling a little bit. I got a badass CPU and a PreSonus audio box. First off, come by that that wants to crackle for some reason. But anyway, I might have to reinstall it or something. So you get, you know, so that's how you can. Um, Pick the points where your MIDI notes are, cl are close together, and you can. So the cursor will select there. The cursor will show up right in the MIDI track in time. All the numbers match, and you can just uh, adjust your MIDI from there to control your gate. And of course, the attack and release are pretty nice because you got the um, if the attack's too sharp you'll hear a surge in the volume instead of a gradual um, gradual amplification of the sound that, that will allow for a more smoother sound. So, but yeah, that's mitigate for you. It's an insert and you gotta, you gotta make a mitigate and then you route the MIDI to the mitigate and um, that's just kind of how that works. And I thought I'd make this video because I couldn't find one out there. It's crazy. I don't know how long this program's been out there. Could not find a mitigate tutorial. Crazy. So, if you guys like this video, please like like it so it gets shows up in the when people are searching more. That you know, even if you don't like it that much, at least you know. I try to make videos that are 
you can't find about things that are, are important. And not everybody can just figure this stuff out. Some people like me are, are a little less intelligent and need some help. Um, so, anyways, appreciate you guys' support. And uh, I will see you guys later.